بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Brothers and sisters, salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, inshallah, uh, is the 17th of Ramadan. So we are counting, subhanallah, we are counting uh, almost, we are in the last 10 days of Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to allow us and give us tawfiq to fast, inshallah. What left from the Ramadan in the way that pleases Him, Subhanahu wa Taala, and also give us the tawfiq to fast and do, to do better in the last ten days, Inshallah, of Ramadan, in particular in the night of Laylat al Qadr, Inshallah. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to allow us to reach this blessed night, Inshallah, Taala. And brothers and sisters, please ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala acceptance every day and every night in the Ramadan. <clears throat> Today, inshallah, or tonight, inshallah, uh, we are going to continue what we started at the beginning of Ramadan, this Fiqh of Ramadan series. Uh, today, what we are going to discuss is uh, a very common question by uh, many brothers and sisters. I have been asked this question many, many times, and I think it's the time to address it. I hope it will be uh, addressed properly, inshallah. So the question is, uh, eating or drinking by mistake on the day of Ramadan. The common impression that many of us have with regards to this issue is eating or drinking on the day of Ramadan is Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or angels uh, is feeding or providing a drink to such a person. And that impression came from a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man akala aw shariba nasiyan fi nahari ramadan fa innama at'amahu allah wa saqahu ever eats or drinks during the day of Ramadan such a person Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is feeding him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving him to drink. Uh, the that's that's hadith is authentic. That hadith is true, but what brothers and sisters need to realize that there are two cases under this uh, under this uh, question: eating or drinking by mistake on the day of Ramadan. So the first case is you eat or drink out of forgetfulness. Eat or drink out of forgetfulness, meaning you enter home, you find a cup of water forgot that you are fasting, forgot that you are in the day of Ramadan, and you drink that water by mistake. This is one scenario, this is one case. And we are going to talk about the rulings on this shortly, inshallah. The other scenario, the other case is that you eat or drink thinking that the Maghrib times come, comes, thinking that the sun is set, but in reality it is not. Or the other way is eating or drinking, thinking that the Fajr is not in yet, but the reality is that the Fajr is in a while ago. An example for that, your clock or watch is five minutes ahead. Okay, let's suppose today the Maghrib was, five, it was eight uh, and your clock is five minutes ahead. So you ate thinking that the time of Maghrib is eight. You look at your clock, it's eight, and you start eating or drinking. And then you realize that your clock was five minutes ahead. So another example is you hear Adhan, thinking that this is Adhan of Maghrib. It was almost Maghrib time, few minutes before Maghrib, you hear Adhan, and then thinking this is Maghrib time, this is uh, Maghrib is in, you start eating and drinking, then your wife or one of your children tell you, no, no, this is, this is at the phone, is saying the Adhan. This is the Maghrib of some other place. This is TV Adhan. And then was you ate before the Maghrib. So these two cases, brothers and sisters, are different. Eating and drinking out of forgetfulness is one case. 
and it has its own ruling and eating and drinking by mistake but intentionally eating you intended to eat but you made a mistake because the maghrib was not in and you ate so these two cases are different and the rulings are different now let's start with the first case you eat or drink out of forgetfulness what does it mean out of forgetfulness meaning you saw uh, food or you saw a cup of water forgot that you are in Ramadan forgot that you are fasting you drink that water and then you realize that you are fasting this is out of forgetfulness and in this case we apply the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man akala aw shariba nasiyan fi nahari ramadan fa innama at'amahu Allah wa saqah the person who eats or drinks uh, out of forgetfulness or during the day of Ramadan such a person Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, fed him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him to drink and this is the stand or the opinion of the majority of scholars that person number one is not sinful number two does not have to make up this day later on this is the opinion of Abu Hanifa rahimahullah Shafi'i rahimahullah Imam Ahmad rahimahullah that the person has nothing to do is not sinful it was by mistake and also it doesn't have to make up this day later on however Imam Malik said yet the person is not sinful but he has to make up this day later on because the hadith did not say the person doesn't have to make it up later on it does to say is the person is not sinful however in this particular case the the majority of scholars opinion is stronger than Imam Malik opinion because this is the stand of the majority of the Sahaba and this is how the Sahaba apply this hadith they used to forget eat and drink and don't make up these days later on so the majority of scholars Abu Hanifa, Shafi'i, Imam Ahmad rahimahullah stand in this particular issue is stronger than Imam Malik so this is the first case which means eating, drinking out of forgetfulness during the day of Ramadan you don't have to make up this day later on and you are not sinful of course because it was out of forgetfulness and we said this is the majority and we have Imam Malik differed but we said the majority of scholars opinion is stronger here now the second case which is different from the first one that you ate you drank water thinking that the sun is set for one is another I said for example you heard an adhan or your son playing a game and called Adhan to make you uh, feel that the Adhan is in it happens many times and you ate drink and then, then you realize that it was your son who's making Adhan or the phone or your clock was ahead five minutes or few minutes and then you realize that you ate before the Maghrib the Fajr similar thing the Fajr that you for example you wake up you oversleep you wake up for Sahur thinking that the Fajr time is not yet and then you drink water and then after you drink water you realize that actually when you drink water the Fajr time came already under these, circum under these conditions the four schools Abu Hanifa, Shafi'i, Malik, uh, Ahmad they said you have to make up this day later on why this is different from the first case because the first case you didn't intend to eat you did not intend to drink you ate drank out of forgetfulness and then you realize that you ate while you are fasting the second case you intended to break the fast but by mistake you intended to eat the, you heard the adhan okay I'm going to eat you intended to break the fast so you are not sinful in both cases there is no sin you are forgiven in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but the difference between the first case and the second case the first case out of forgetfulness you don't have to make the day up later on because you did not intend to break the fast you ate you drank water and then you realized oh my god I was fasting the other case you ate or drank water you intended to break the fast or you intended to eat for example in Fajr case you intended to eat thinking that the Fajr is not in yet but after you drink water 
you realize that you ate or you drank after Fajr time came. In the, the second, or for the second case, brothers and sisters, for the second scenario, such a person is not sinful, but such a person has to make up the day later on. And subhanAllah, that shows you the, 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 how crucial is the intention in the amal, in the ibadat, the niyyah, how crucial is the niyyah in the ibadat. The only difference between the first case and the second case is the niyyah. The first case, the person did not intend to break the fast. Even the action was done is the same. Such a person ate by mistake, the other person ate by mistake. Both people are not sinful. In both cases, you are not sinful. But in the first case, you did not intend, you did not establish the niyyah to eat. You just ate out of forgetfulness and then you realize that you are fasting. In the second, you establish the niyyah to break the fast, thinking that the Maghrib is in, thinking that the Adhan came, thinking that the sun is set. After you eat, after you drink, you realize that it was wrong, you were wrong, it was by mistake. So this is a very, very uh, uh, important uh, difference between these two cases. Many people, brothers and sisters, don't differentiate between the first case and the second case. Thinking any eating, any drinking in the day of Ramadan, during the day of Ramadan, is out of forgetful, out of mistake. Okay, you don't have to make up the day later on. That's not true. That's not true. Out of forgetfulness is one issue. The majority of scholars say you don't have to make up this day later on because of the hadith that we stated at the beginning. In the second case, most of the scholars, including the four madahib, the four a'imma, say that person must make up the day later on because such a person established the niya to eat. His eating or drinking was not, was not out of forgetfulness. So the hadith that came, he said, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, man akala out of forgetfulness. The second person was not forgetting when he ate or drink, drank water. The person was a mistake on the time of Maghrib because he heard Adhan and that was the wrong Adhan because his clock was ahead and for one reason or other he ate or drank out uh, uh, before the time or same thing for Fajr. Uh, I was going to discuss today inshallah as well injections during the day of Ramadan but uh, it takes time explaining this issue. Also, eye drops, uh, ear drops, asthma spray. I was going to discuss this, uh, but inshallah we'll discuss them in the next uh, class. We, uh, uh, that's enough for today, inshallah. So please, brothers and sisters, uh, make sure to differentiate between these two cases. The first one, when Nabi Sallallahu said, eating, drinking out of forgetfulness. That person is not sinful. That person doesn't have to make up the day later on. The person eats or drinks thinking that the Maghrib is in, thinking that the sun is set, but such a person was wrong. That person is not sinful, but that person must make up the day later on. For the Fajr case, brothers and sisters, if that person ate after the, after the Fajr, thinking, uh, this is a very important point as well, if the person woke up and then didn't know that the Fajr in and drink or eat and then realize that he ate or drank after the Fajr, such a person must continue fast the day and then make up the day later on. When we say you have to make up the day later on, doesn't mean, okay, you are allowed to eat the rest of the day. No, you have to continue fasting the rest of the day and then make up the day later on. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you faqihana fi deen wa ya'alimna ta'wee Allahumma faqihana fi deen wa alimna ta'wee Allahumma alimna ma yanfa'una wa fa'ana bima alimtana wa zidna ilma tafa'una bihi ya rabbil alameen subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik nashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh